In part one, Spirit shared with me that there was a sense of you and me forever and even a soulmate energy. And then I got this beautiful connection of, I just want to kiss you, <laughs> you know? So I really liked that. I really liked that energy of, you know what? I just want to kiss your lips and I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be in your life. I can't wait to share my life with you. Um, if this person's already come into your life, claim it, own it, it's yours. Otherwise, please use all of my readings to help manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see what else we want to learn about this connection. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. I have make making it happen it's lots of hands you know that that what's that saying like lots of hands make it make a, a village and or a village raises a child you know like that's how i feel i feel like there's it's going to take a lot of hands it's like family friends um, us working together to make it happen maybe we have extended families maybe we have uh, a lot on our plate. Maybe it's just got to be a lot of moving parts and pieces in order for us to be together. But you can make anything happen is how I feel. You can definitely make this connection happen. I have defeat. Like, don't give up till the magic happens. They shared with us earlier. Don't feel defeated. Just keep moving forward. Just keep trusting divine timing. Keep believing. Keep knowing that your person is out there. There's an abundance of love for everybody. There's more love than we, than, than it's infinite. Okay. There's infinite abundance. Everybody deserves love. Everybody can be in love. Everybody can be loved. So there's infinite abundance out there. So don't, don't be defeated. It's just a matter of it's going to be your turn and your time at some point. And we're just going to wait. So endurance, keeping your eyes open is how that just came into me. Look, all the eyeballs, keeping your eyes open, keeping, you know, everything going, keeping your head held high, just kind of doing what you need to do, taking care of yourself and healing and growing and raising your vibration. All of the things that you should be doing while you're, you know, that's how it's going to work. I have rest, rest, Give yourself a break, okay? If you're putting a lot of stress on yourself with I'm not trying harder or I'm alone or I'll be alone forever, get rid of those that thinking, okay? You want one more of these, please, Spirit. Get rid of that thinking. Spirit's saying there's a, a you and me forever. So we just have to find the you. <laughs> we just have to find the, the, the other person, right? And love. I love this. It's almost this sense of like sprinkles, showers of love. Like love is shining over you and sprinkling on you. And I just love this. I love this card. It's so cute. So I have a feeling that love is going to just shower you and surround you. So let's see what else they have. Tell me more about this connection connection spirit. What is it that you need me to know? What is it that I have a 10 of swords? So letting something go from your past, the past is in the past, no regrets. It's over. It's done with, and we're moving on. So just keep moving on. Just keep staying focused on the prize. Keep focusing on the magic that's ahead of you. I have a page of pentacles that came into me as an offer. I want to spend some time with you. I want to get to know you. Um, somebody who wants to set some time aside, somebody who wants to, to be with you and then spend even more time with you with this night a sense of investing in you that I'm willing to invest my time and my energy into you because I think that you're worth it. I think that you're going to mean a lot to me. I think that this is going to turn into something more. So I'm willing to do, make that effort. So somebody who steps to the played and puts in some time and effort, which I think is good. I have a death card. So I do have a death card and I do have a 10 of swords. So some of you have come out of something recently. You could have just ended something. You could say, what's next for me? What's happening next? There's always the other side. We're starting over we're healing. It's a new beginning. It's a new phase. So there's always going to be that other side. So I want you to just keep your eyes open for it. I want you to keep trusting. Here's my higher fan. Be guided by your spirit guides, your spirit, God, whoever you pray to. They are all trying to help you to move forward. Look at this beautiful ace. Look at this beautiful ace. The, where's my, my loving card? You know, it's, it's this energy of love. 
It's this beautiful energy of love is surrounding you. Okay. And you're, it's filling you. It's filling your heart. It's filling your soul. So I want you to manifest that. I want you to claim it. I want you to own it. It's yours. And this is a very healing connection because if you are coming out of something with that 10 of swords and that death card, sometimes when we start a new connection, it's, it's a, a reminder that we're still alive, that we still have feelings, that we're still worthy of love, that somebody's still attracted to us, that somebody still wants to be with us. So this could be a very healing connection that's coming into your life as well. Let's see what the love messages are. So beautiful. I have destiny will help us find each other. I love that. I want destiny to help us. I want I want this love. I mean, I just want this overpouring of love, right? Just this beautiful feeling of, I, I just feel it in my heart is how it just came into me. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my soul. And I'm just so in love with this person. And this person means the world to you and you mean the world to them. And I think that that's really important. I want to make love to you. I, I'm attracted to you. How about that? Um, I can't see myself with anybody else. I only want you. How about some loyalty, some trust, something along those lines? I know what love is because of you. How about I've never felt this way before? Or you're the first person who's opened my eyes in a really long time to what it feels like to love again. So we are going to put this out into the universe. I want to get one more card. I must confess that I'm in love with you. So I, I want that. I want that for all of you. And I'm grateful. So I think that right now, Spirit's trying to let you know that there is a you and me forever. And it's just a matter of time if it hasn't come into your life. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. I want to thank you for being here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. If you'd like to book a private reading, I will put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. We'll see you soon.